Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com and I'm super excited to um, introduce you to this gorgeous set. This is the Promise Tickets set from Kelly Bangs over at the Illustrated Faith Print and Pray Shop and it is just the sweetest set. So it comes with, it's obviously a ticket theme, it comes with all these tickets. Ticket to an amazing future and it um, gives you a scripture ticket to get back up, another scripture, just tons of tickets, tickets you can give your worries and anxieties over to Jesus. You just write it out and you hand it off to him. I love this set. A lot of people ask, where do I jump in on Bible journaling? This is a great one because you get specific verses that you can then go and use it on and study over those verses. So I'm really excited to be using this set. I am going to use it in conjunction with this beautiful planner that one of my friends gave me, Print Prussian. It is this gorgeous pink planner and I don't usually use this size size of planner or ring planner. So I have another plan for it. I have gathered a ton of supplies. I'm also planning on using this sweet suitcase. Look at how cute that is. It's a little baby suitcase. And I thought with the ticket theme, I had picked this up to craft with, and this is just going to go together perfectly perfectly. So um, I will put you on fast forward. I'll link all the supplies down below, including the link to this gorgeous set from Kelly Bangs. And we'll get going. I have a lot of things grabbed from my stash here. So we'll just see how all of this turns out. Let's go. I will start out by picking a few of my favorite pieces and I'm just going to put them directly on to the suitcase. You could definitely mod podge over this or maybe use matte gel medium to really secure down the edges. This is not really going to leave my craft room. So I'm not really worried about it coming apart. So I'm just going to use my strong adhesive, my ATG glider that you see that big pink tape gun. And that is really going to secure these pieces down and I'm layering them. I love all of the phrases here, but Psalm 55, 22, cast your burden on the Lord and he shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved and learning to cast my burdens to give them up to God is something that um, I have been working on and will have to continue to work on for a really long time. So I love, love, love that. Now you're going to see this side and this is going to go super wrong. So I put this in super fast forward so you all wouldn't have to um, suffer through, but I wanted to paint a rainbow. So I pulled out my acrylic paints and started painting the rainbow and oh my goodness, it turned out terrible. Oh, it looks so bad. I tried to dry it. I added more layers on top of it and I was super not pleased with how it looks. And so I was at first upset thinking I'd ruin the entire suitcase, but I always try to remember there's always a way to fix it. And um, so I think maybe I'll add some pom-pom trim. You see that I'll clean up the edge. Oh, and it just came right off. It was a mess. And so how do I end up fixing it? I will cover it up like any good paper crafter would. So I am just tracing the edge of the suitcase. You can see it's still a little bit wet there. No big deal. I'm going to cut this shape out and I'm actually cutting to the inside of the line about a half an inch so that it will rest to the inside um, edge of my little suitcase and I just wanted to keep that in there so that you all could see there are mistakes that happen all the time when you're crafting and not every project turns out exactly like you wanted and sometimes you have to pivot in mid process and it's okay to do that and that's what I ended up doing so this is from, I think it's the Maggie Holmes Bloom line, but I'm not totally sure. It's some Maggie Holmes paper and look how much better. <laughs> Give a little thumbs up. So much better. Once I covered up that rainbow, I love that paper. The Maggie Holmes line, um, Maggie Holmes feel goes really well with this particular set from Kelly Bangs. And the line has all of the same colors. So I think this is Bloom. I'll have to look up just to make sure. Now I am just layering some different pieces. So I have pulled out my set of tags. I have all of these um, little labels, the tags, and then the little labels from Felicity Jane that I've kept and kind of hoarded for a while. So I'll be using those. I'm checking out to see what words I might want to use. And I decide, oh, I'll just go ahead and adhere things down. And actually what I end up doing is grabbing an old school Bella Boulevard Illustrated Faith Word Betty piece. Do any of y'all still have those stickers? I mean, they've been around 
forever. And I am determined to use up my word Betty. And so I have, um, you'll see me pull that out in just a minute and I'll use that to kind of embellish my suitcase even more. This whole suitcase project ended up being super fun to make. And the truth is the suitcase um, was just an extra fun project. What I'm gonna make to go inside of it is actually going to be um, what turns out to be a mini war binder. I love the thing inside of it, but sometimes it's fun to add. I mean, you get so many pieces with the with these print and pray projects that I just wanted to use them in new and fun ways and making this little suitcase just gives me a fun place for my war binder to live in my craft room, which is awesome. And I'm, I'm looking forward to using it. So it's okay to use these for um, pieces outside of your Bible to change it up because it doesn't change the meaning behind the piece. And it's still, um, you know, fun to use. Use it in your faith planner. Use it in your memory keeping. Use it all over the place. Why not? You paid for it and you should get to enjoy it. And so I loved getting to experiment on this little suitcase. So now you see my word Betty, she, I'm doing pretty well. It's getting pretty empty. Some of the phrases are going to be hard to kind of continue to use, but I've added well with my soul. God is amazing. I find the word um, healing that I want to put up there and I'll end up kind of adjusting that and adding the word beautiful to it as well for beautiful healing. I just like adding those little words. Words really inspire me. I love having words all over my craft room. I have them over, all over my house. I'm one of those people that has the inspirational signs and things like that. So adding words to my project really means a lot to me. And so I had fun um, mixing and matching out of these and kind of figuring out what would match the theme and kind of fit um, lengthwise into this. So that's the end of the suitcase. And now I'll move on to start working on this little planner. Like I said, all of these tickets or a huge amount of them have kind of topics on them and then a scripture that is referenced that has to do with that topic. And I thought this would be fabulous for a war binder or a collection of um, you kind of marking down God's promises. And so that's what I was thinking I would do in all of these different categories. I have love, peace, healing, fearlessness, forgiveness, and Kind of using this as a little memory album to look back on the times that God has shown up for me, some prayers that I would have in these specific categories, and then I could go back and reflect because I think it's important to mark the times in our lives when God has shown up in big ways and small ways. So that's the concept behind this. And what I did was cut down some uh, Maggie Holmes paper. Like I said, I think it's from the Bloom Collection, um, some that I had picked up at Tuesday morning a long time ago, and I cut them down to approximately four by six and a half. No, four and a half by six. That's what it is. Four and a half by six. I punched the holes that matched this particular planner. You could make it, you could just use rings. You could do this in a traveler's notebook and kind of have um, different pages dedicated to different pieces. And I am layering the tags with some Maggie Holmes ephemera that came in that paper kit. And my jam this summer has been using these print and pray products with my stash and kind of busting through some stash. I am a paper lover for sure. And so I've been collecting some 12 by 12 paper off and on, but I don't do 12 by 12 pro uh, projects. So I end up with a ton of paper. So when I get to actually use it in projects that I love and I'm going to get to look at every day, um, it makes me super happy. And I also, like I said, have my little container of labels pulled out from Felicity Jane. I'm layering those in and then a few fun paper clips as well. Okay, I put it in super fast forward so that you would not have to see me assemble all of these pages. There were 21 tags that I included um, on or for the middle of this book. So 21 different pages and categories. There's actually a 22nd tag, but that's the one that ended up on my suitcase that says be still. Um, so that one ended up outside. And what I did was just try to include some fun pieces. So I had a trim in different spots. Like I said, little paper clips, just layering pieces, having a good time, not overthinking it, 
on how it looks because the thought is that this will be kind of a living binder like it will evolve and change I had considered adding pockets to the back of each page which I could still go back and do but there wasn't really a need to do all of the things right now um, with this binder but to change it up to add be able to add as I go and I liked um, just getting it set and now I think what I'm probably gonna end up doing is cutting out just some white paper that I can put in the back that I can use as bases for other pages. I'll be able to just hole punch different pieces. This is approximately four by six, so I could um, include photos really easily and literally just put the photo in, maybe jot a few notes on the back. Not everything has to be super artistic, but I loved just getting to see the scriptures that Kelly chose for um, these different topics and I think it's just a great jumping off point and a great place to record um, how God is showing up and showing you promises in your life or how you might be praying to see God's promises fulfilled. Once all the pages were done I put them in the rings and I knew I wanted to add a tab and my regular tab punch those tabs would have just been too big it felt like for the size of little binder that I was working on and so I decided to just use my one inch circle punch and I am punching out two circles for every page um, that matches the base paper of that page if that makes sense and then just adding a little adhesive just eyeballing it it doesn't have to be perfect and I'm adding a tab on either side of the page so you'll be able to flip through the book a little bit more easily and find what you're looking for. So this was a fun way, again, to get to use some more supplies using more of that paper. And I don't use my punches very often. So getting cut out all these one inch punches um, was fun to do. Oh, changing my adhesive. There we go. Now I end up just flipping it over and that's how I eyeball where the next tab will go is I flip it over to see where the tab in front of it is and then just shift it down ever so slightly. Once all of those are in place, then I have this word fetish sheet where she has all of the topics listed out and I'm trying something new. I add adhesive all across the back before I cut out the word fetish. Now, when I cut out each piece, it already has the stickiness. Now, you could just cut this out on sticker paper. That would have probably been easy, but I didn't. I had it already cut out on cardstock. So um, I worked from there and added all of the categories, which was super fun. And then you even have additional word Betty stickers that are included that I ended up using on the front of the suitcase. So I was able to use them on some different parts and I was able to add them into different pages. You have um, phrases like promise keeper and miracle worker, which of course go perfectly with the different categories. So this was a super fun project. I cannot wait to show you the flip through. Okay, so here is how the final project came out. I am so pleased with it. So first, here's my sweet little suitcase with the tickets on it. I added a few more word fetty pieces. I'm so glad that I ended up covering up that rainbow. I like this cleaner look much better. Very fitting with how the journal came out. And you'll see that my journal fits in really nicely. And there's something about having a special box for something. It just makes me excited about it. So I love that. I love that I have a place to keep it. And then I pull out the journal. I decorated it with a rainbow from Flourish by Gigi. So I will make sure to link that Instagram account below. And here is how it came out. It's going to be such a great prayer journal, kind of memory keeping, documenting the times that I see these promises fulfilled in my life and the lives, um, the lives of other people that I'm praying for, documenting inspirational verses and pictures and moments that I just want to remember as part of my faith journey. I kind of think of this as a little bit of a mini war binder, something that I can come back to over and over. I love just these free floating tickets in here. I can come back, add some pockets on the back. There's all kinds of things that I can embellish this even more, but I think um, this set from Kelly Bangs just covers such a wide variety of topics in um, God's promises that I think it lends itself really well to creating a war binder um, type piece. So keep that in mind if you are picking up this set. I love it. I was really pleased with all of these little labels on my tabs. 
you can see it's a lot of fun. So I will go back. I'll probably add some blank pages in the back just so that they're ready to go. I can even tuck them in right here. You can see it all came together really nicely. It's so fun to use these print and pray sets to mix and match them with things that are already in your stash and just to use them to help create something unique. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. As always, I have everything that I used linked down below in the description box for this video, so make sure to check that out. I hope that you have a fantastic day and as always, keep it creative.